I started clicking. I was like, and like first, like, you know, I was like six years old. Seeing with sound, a blind Sacramento teen's talent turned him into a worldwide phenomenon. That Ben just wanted to make everybody happy and smile and love everybody. He did that. The cancer that robbed him of his vision has now taken his life. Ben Underwood died this morning. And although he is gone, this visionary's legacy will live on forever. Mike Delestrito is in Elk Grove with Ben's family's celebration of his life tonight. I'm in Ben's room right now, surrounded by some of his favorite things, his Nintendo Wii and his love for music. But take a second right now to see the world how you might imagine Ben saw it. What we see is nothing but black. But in this, Ben truly saw better than just about any of us. <laughs> Seeing Ben, it's hard to believe he can't see at all. Hey. At least the way we do, from skating <laughs> yeah, punk. to his bullseye pillow toss. Ben uses his other senses to see. That's a trash can. <laughs> his clicks echo, allowing him to see what's ahead. He's done it since he was six. Ben would go up and jump on the bike, and all I would say, go play, watch for cars, and look where you're going, and you better not come in here crying. Watch for cars. That's what Aquanetta would tell her blind son. Ben's purpose here was something different. She's known that all along almost ever since cancer caused Ben to go blind when he was two. Two weeks before my third birthday. I just said, I went to my aunt, I said, B, Ben's gonna see again. She said, oh girl, you crazy. I said, you watch, you watch. Aquanetta believes in miracles and she thinks Ben proved her right. And if you can just touch one life, you've done a lot, but he's touched millions. Ben's story went worldwide and the world let Ben know just how they felt about this blind boy who did so many things so many people thought impossible. And this girl said, oh my God, Ben, now I see you. I know God is real. An unflinching faith in God guided Ben and Aquanetta this past few months as cancer spread to Ben's brain and spine. Yeah, I said, Ben, it's okay. You can let go. I love you, Ben. You can let go. You don't have to hold on for mommy. I said, but just remember when you get there, you tell Jesus to have that place right beside you for your mama when my time comes. Ben died peacefully. <laughs> now, family and friends gather at his house. The one rule, no tears. And you better not come in here crying. Okay. A true celebration of life. It is. That's what it is. Rest in peace, Ben. <laughs> I love you, boy. Love for a boy who not only saw but saw so much more than most of us will ever see. Ben leaves a lasting legacy after living a life full of love, never afraid of death. And Ben had it all figured out, all figured out. I just thank God for his life. And this is just the beginning of the celebration of Ben's life. His family and friends will be back together on next Monday, celebrating what would be his 17th birthday. Hmm. Learned a lot from that young guy. You can send your condolences and make a donation if you'd like to Ben's mom, and here's how you do that. You go to CBS13.com. You'll find it on our links and numbers, and you can see more of Ben's talents, his journey, and his international attention. We've posted more on Ben's life, and you can see it only on CBS13.com.